Learning Construction. Learn, share, expand. Hey guys, welcome back to learningconstruction.com. And on this video, I want to talk to you about how to install vinyl form. You can see over here, I found this really nice product, which is vinyl. It's an imitation of wood flooring. And we're going to be replacing the flooring on this trailer here. Uh, the old flooring, which I already removed, was a pretty bad shape. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to set up this new floor here. So it looks super cool. So the first thing you want to do, obviously, is remove the old flooring. Then, what you want to make sure is that the surface is smooth. So you want to check for all the nails, the staples, and leftover stuff that they come over here. For example, this one all should all come out. Otherwise, when you put the flooring, it's going to create this bubble. It's going to damage your floor. You don't want that. You want to make sure that all this stuff comes out. Second, we want to lay a nice line throughout the trailer over here. And that will represent the middle line that we're going to be working. So. Let's get started. So now that we removed all the uh, staples and imperfections that we had in the floor, the next thing you want to do is create a line. This line is very important. It would be the guideline for all your flooring. So this is basically a standard rule for any type of flooring, tile, uh, real wood, pergo or engineer flooring or any other type of flooring. Um, so as you can see over here, what I did is I laid the floor in a straight line you always want to follow the longest run on the room and you want to find a corridor which for, for example on this trailer there's only one right so you want to follow this line over here and give yourself an idea how they're gonna run so as you can see in here this one was basically my main pattern and the reason being is because it will be not need to put a cut in here and I terminated this edge over here so I don't have to make another cut when I put it right up against the cabinet and you see it we can see it there now if you notice here you don't want to put the flooring up against the cabinet on this side instead you're going to put it up against this side over here leaving yourself a gap here and leaving a gap over here and what that's going to do is it's going to create a uh, staggered pattern on your wood, which if this was real wood, that's exactly what you want it to look like. So you can see over here, you have a little bit of staggered pattern, and then you go to the next one over here. Now, this is something important for you to know. When you're laying out this type of flooring, especially if this stick on, you want to do the full pieces first. Don't worry about the cuts. Do the cuts later because you don't you don't really know what you're gonna end up with left over. So you want to put all the all the pieces first, all the full ones first. So you can see over here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna follow this match line here and continue with my layout. this way here I'm going to continue my run in that direction and then, and then I'm going to continue my layout this way here you can see how this is all coming together don't be afraid to put the pieces before you put the before you start gluing them this will give you a better understanding of what you're doing okay well let's let's keep working
Okay, here's another thing. You see these arrows over here? These arrows are so you can follow the pattern of the wood. Believe it or not, this random wood over here has an actual pattern. So, it depends on the design you want to follow, but obviously in the one I'm going to do, I'm going to do a straight run. So when you're doing gluing, if you notice, on this one over here, I have the arrows going this direction. So now, when I continue installing the wood, I'm going to put all my arrows facing that direction. Um, this is important for you to know. On any type of glue-on material, carpet glue-on or um, uh, vinyl flooring, vinyl tiles, they're going to have this arrow over here. And it's important for you to remember how you started your pattern, otherwise you're going to end up making a mess. Well, as you can see over here, the job is actually finished and uh, it turned out pretty nice and straight. You can see over here how we follow the line throughout. And uh, you can see over here how we terminated the cuts that we were talking about earlier. And uh, basically, by staggering them, you avoid making them too obvious and it's pleasing to the eye so see how it looks clean and you can actually almost look forward to see the seams on the wood because it gives them a little bit of a real feel Well, I hope you guys liked it, and uh, don't forget to check out learningconstruction.com. Thank you.